morning, God bless you. God has provided a plan of salvation beyond our wildest dreams. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Through the blood of Jesus Christ and by repentance of our sin and turning our life over to Christ, we have been delivered from the powers of darkness. Today, as you have your Bible, go to John 3, 16, 1 Thessalonians 5, Revelations chapter 12, as we look at the choice is ours. The choice is ours, receiving this great plan that God has provided for us through the blood of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. John 3.16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might find eternal life. 1 Thessalonians 5.9 tells us, For God had not appointed us under raft, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. For God has not destined us to incur his wrath. That is, he saved us by repentance through Jesus Christ. Revelations 12.10 tells us, And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. The accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before God day and night. This is the day of salvation. We have been given volition. The choice is ours. We find right from the beginning in heaven, Ezekiel 28, Revelation 12, Isaiah 14, Lucifer, a created angel, decided that he wanted his throne above the throne of God. Because of his volition, he made a bad decision, missing the privilege of the power of salvation and deliverance through Jesus Christ. God made a plan for Lucifer, and he decided through his volition to reject the plan. In the garden, Genesis chapter 3, Adam and Eve, in a perfect state, they were persuaded by the evil one, the devil, that they were being neglected by God. They believed that lie, ate the apple, and through their volition they sinned. And the benefit of God's salvation was squandered. But God had another plan through Jesus Christ. The second Adam, through him we find salvation. In heaven, on earth, and during the great tribulation, Revelation 16 tells us, Unbelievers and Jewish people have a choice to make during this great tribulation. Would they receive Jesus Christ as Lord? God's wrath was revealed in the great tribulation, but yet mankind, many, still decided not to repent because of their volition in heaven, in the garden, during the great tribulation, and even during the millennial reign, the thousand-year peace that people will have on earth. Revelation chapter 20, because of volition, the people and nations will have the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as King of kings and Lord of lords. And because, and because of God's provision of salvation, many, because of their volition, would, will choose not to receive Christ. Don't make the mistake that many have made in heaven, in earth, during the great tribulation and during the thousand-year reign of peace. Today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off, but receive Jesus Christ today. Repent of your sins, turn to him. Make him Lord of your life. His provision is clear. God made a way of salvation for us. And he's not appointed us unto wrath, 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, but has appointed us to obtain salvation. Thank God that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. God bless you, the Lord keep you as we trust the Lord for this salvation, this great deliverance through Jesus. The Lord keep you.